Number 61. Most mixtures of hydrogen gas with oxygen gas are explosive. However, a mixture that contains less than 3.0% oxygen is not. If enough oxygen is added to a cylinder of H2 at 33.2 atm to bring to the total pressure of 34.5 atm, is the mixture explosive? Okie dokie. So basically, we have to find out what the percentage of our oxygen is, right? The sentence that's basically the most important part is they say that a mixture of gases that contain less than 3.0% of oxygen is not explosive. So we have to find out basically what our percent of oxygen is. Now let's take it from the top, right? The total pressure. They told us that the total pressure was equal to 34.5 atm. Now the total pressure of a mixture is always the accumulation of the partial pressures, aka the single pressures of each compound in it. So in this case, they gave us two different molecules, right? They told us that in our mixture, we had O2 being added to H2. So I have O2 and I have H2 in this uh, comp in this, you know, mixture that has the total pressure of 34.5 atm. Now they told us that the H2 partial pressure, now I say partial pressure because I'm only talking about H2, but you could just say, you know, the pressure of H2. They told us that the pressure was 33.2 atm. So from this information, what is the pressure of O2? Well, if these are the only two components in my mixture and the total pressure is 34.5, all we can do is just do 34.5 minus the other pressure, 33.2, and that will get us the pressure of the oxygen. So 34.5 minus 33.2, I get 1.3, and maybe I'll put that in red. 1.3 atm and that's for the oxygen so now we just have to figure out well what's that percentage right is this going to be higher than three percent or is it going to be lower than three percent well remember when we're talking about percentages a percent formula is is just something divided by something times 100 and usually it's going to be the part I mean, always, always it's the part divided by the whole. So now if we only care about oxygen, the part would basically be the, the pressure of that oxygen, right? So it would basically be the pressure of the O2. And what would be the whole? The whole would be the total pressure, right? The pressure of the part divided by the total pressure. Maybe I'll just put total P and I can get the percentage. So let's just bring this a little bit down here. And now let's do it. So percent of the oxygen would be, we just found out that it was 1.3 atm, and the total pressure was 34, and maybe I'll do that in black because I wrote that in black, 34.5 atm, and all we gotta do is just times by 100 to find out what the percentage of oxygen is. And maybe I'll just be a little bit more specific. I will say that this is the percentage of O2. Whatever you say on the top, that's the percentage that you're finding out for. Whoop. So in this case, the percentage of O2 would equal, let's do the math, 1.3 divided by 34.5 times 100. And it's 3.7... Three points, we'll say, I guess we'll say 3.8 uh, 3 if we round it. Okay, so this is the percentage of our oxygen in our mixture. So would this be explosive? Is the mixture explosive? Well, the key is that a mixture that's less than 3% oxygen is not. But our mixture is 3.8%. That's over. So... Yeah, this is going to be explosive. 
Wahoo. <laughs> so there you go. That's the answer. So yeah, is it going to be explosive? You got it because 3.8 is higher than 3. Okay. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. And as always, I hope you have a great day. Let's keep studying hard, and I will see you in later lessons. Bye-bye.